Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to some more Slay the Spire Ultra Modded Spire. We'll hop in as the silent today. Give me enemies in the next three rooms, combat, whatever. Chance at sniping an elite? Uh, negative, actually. Well, not negative. There, there is a small chance. Uh, you know what? A small enough chance is a good enough chance for me. You know? You might as well go for it. Give me some weird stuff again on this one. Uh, let, dude, let's make a poison deck. Poison stab is not that good uh, of a card. But let's take it and go all in. And then, frankly, give me Cloak and Dagger. Both of which are very good cards. I wanted to take it before, uh, but did not have the opportunity. So now we get the opportunity. Let's take it. Each time you discard a card during your hand, add a shiv. Okay. We need a bane for a challenge. So you know what? That's fine. Pick up Bane. It, it doesn't like when you buy him from the shop, though. I just remembered that. Uh, oh, well. Remove another card, kill another strike. Okay, you know what? So far, so good. You get to kill off an Elite for free. You get Bandana. We had this last time, so that's going to give us a little bit more gold here on this run. Uh, and then, I don't know. What, what do you want here? Upgrade on this is it becomes a 1... I mean, it, there, there's benefit to it, for sure. I'm just not sure there's enough benefit for right now. Let, let's take it, and let's see if we can make it work. Uh, let's make it just immediately playable. Now, that's not the best upgrade. Uh, Cloak and Dagger is almost certainly the best upgrade on that one. Um, but why not, man? Uh, let, let's go all in. Let's see if we can make something, uh, something pop with this today. He's actually going to die because of... Uh, because of Phantasmal, so I feel pretty okay about that one. Uh, because we have now a weird Shiv Poison deck, give me a Blade Dance. Once per room, when you add a card to your deck, gain 3 max HP. That's really good. It's actually really good. Uh, okay, let's do this, followed by this, followed by this for a lot of damage, also stealing a good chunk of gold from this man. Uh, and then you're looking for Phantasmal here. Fantastic. Bane is totally fine. And then a little bit of that right here. Next turn, just draw a absolute buttload of attacks. Buttload of attacks. Those are not attacks. Please give me buttloads of attacks. Thank you. So bang. 12 damage. 12 damage. This actually probably kills you. Uh, so we'll do that instead. Bottled Lightning. Let's start with a cloak and dagger in our hand and dude this gives us max hp which is very strange uh i guess i will take a dagger throw and we'll get two void shards because of that honestly going fine i'm pretty happy let's get cloak and dagger upgraded uh, i think that, that one is vital to our success and so far this run's been pretty straightforward for us uh, i think a finisher is absolutely fine and then let's kill another strike just continuing to whittle those out, and we'll fight another elite because we are not babies. We understand how uh, the game is to be played. Good first turn, to be honest with you. You gotta love doing uh, close to 30 damage to this man immediately. Six, six, and then another 12. You'll take some damage on this one, but it's not something you care about. Okay, next turn, deal double damage. Then you play this, then you play this. You're taking... Five damage to ensure you kill him on the next turn, basically. Uh, so, 14 twice, and you're dead. And, dude, there are going to be some runs that, or some turns where we are just, like, insane. At the end of each turn, retain one card. So, it's basically a, uh, a thingamajiggy. You know, a thingamajiggy. How do you not know what I'm talking about? Uh, a well-laid plans. So, is this a deck where Grand Finale can actually work? I don't think so. Uh... So we're not going to do it. Hidden Blade, th there's there's something here, but I'm not necessarily sure what it is. Uh, it's the draw that has me intrigued, so I guess I'll take it. Uh, and Snack Pack, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain two HP. We're going to do that, like, almost certainly all the time. So I have no issues with uh, rocking that here. So let's do a Blade Dance for the upgrade. I'm, I'm thinking along the lines of Finisher. And dude, this is such a fun boss fight. Uh, we, we've done this before. It's very enjoyable. Uh, just one of those like cool experience boss fights that you can do. 
She's got a crap load of uh, health, but that's okay. So now retain, hey, sure, re retain and defend. It doesn't really matter what you retain. So we go back before you to a strange forest of trees, feeling an evil presence. We turn to go back only to find the trees surrounded on all sides. I've been swallowed by the woods. Uh, let's encounter something unrelenting. Push forward. There's now a big old gremlin knob chilling here, uh, which you don't necessarily love to see, but uh, we'll make it work for sure. Retain Bane because I feel like we have a decent chance of uh, hopefully getting some poison here. Obtain a random relic effect? Yeah, absolutely. Give me the random relic effect. I grab the relic and yank it out. Mercury Hourglass. Okay, three damage to each of them. Not amazing, mind you, but is good enough. So seven damage to each of them. You're going to take some damage on this here. Give me the Hidden Blade. Next turn, you got Phantasmal, so we're going to go all in. Uh, please anger the mushrooms. This is where things get a little, little bit, uh, a little bit sketchy, but I'm okay with it. So add a shiv. Oh baby. Okay, now we're in business. So smack, 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 and then probably want to wipe you, neutralize. Okay, retain dagger throw is fine. So she will die in seven turns. Okay. Let's gain a dexterity. I think that's a little bit better than the other options. Uh, this is a great turn for Phantasmal. Do not get that twisted in the slightest. Next turn, we'll, we'll do some, some hard hitting, especially with this Cloak and Dagger, hopefully. Uh, give me two Frail. Because, I mean, we're a dex up, so that it matters a little bit less for us. And, dude, very good turn here. So 12, cloak and dagger, 8, 8, and hit you for 36. Okay, retain our hidden blade. Give me another story. I would like to fight, uh, is there something I need to fight? Repulsors. Dude, let's fight some beasts, okay? I mean, that's a lot right there. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's do this. Followed by that, you're dead. Then this. And then weaken you. You're taking 18 damage on this one. Which is not amazing to be, you know, totally blunt with you. Uh, let's exhaust all strikes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's actually like the easiest decision you'll ever make in your life. Uh, there is no reason not to do that, to be honest. So, pretty, pretty simple decision making there. And keep in mind, you still got Mercury Hourglass. Don't get too, too knocked up here. Uh, give me, honestly, become confused. Let's just hope that uh, the Sneko gods give us what we need. It's like real bad. It's like real bad. Um, it's kind of whatever, but it's fine. I don't want to retain any of those because they're three cost horrible cards. What do we got here? Shining Golden Idol. Uh, if I take it, add two wounds to my draw pile. We got plenty of cards in this draw pile at this point. Uh, some shivs. Smack, smack, smack. It's like still kind of crappy, but we'll, we'll make it work. It's like the world's longest boss fight, but that's okay. Uh, oh, give me the 50% chance. And now I took a lot of damage. So she's out of here, uh, which means that we will literally just, you know, put up our normal stuff. But she will leave. Uh, that's the story's end. And it's it's a weird boss fight every single time it occurs. So more quests. Fantastic Venom Potion. Apply one poison to enemies when you damage them. Lose one strength. Interesting, but a little weird. Apply a poison each time this card is played. Permanently increase its poison by two. I love the idea of it. Let's go for it. So this, this is one of those, like, I don't even understand what's going on in it. So gain energy, but all non-attack damage you deal is reduced to half. Automatically, we can't take this if we're going poison. So gain energy at the start of each turn. For every 100 gold below 500 you have, enemies start with a random buff. I'll just take it. 
<laughs> just tell you, free YOLO, dude. All right, let's go to the jungle. We didn't do it last time. Let's go to the jungle this time. Uh, there's obviously weird stuff to be seen in the jungle today. Like this big old giant rat. So one poison on you. The extra energy is just actually, it's needed, dude. So his attack damage is increased by 25% for the next two turns. It's going to hurt a little bit. 19 coming in. It hurts a little bit. But not too, too bad. Uh, we might literally just kill him, though. Which, I mean, would be nice. Uh, wouldn't it be nice? Is good. Is good. Okay, uh, smack you. Smack you. Smack you. Finish you. That's what you like to see. That went really well. Uh, give me a bouncing flask for just more poison addition. We're basically going uh, as much poison as any one human being can get is how much poison I want to put on. Smack these boyos, please. Give me Phantasmal for the next turn. These guys, I, I do remember them a little bit. So they, you have to kill them in order, basically. So we got to start with this first guy. So the poison on this guy actually does very close to nothing uh, right now. But it's, it's the future that matters on him. So now he's dead. Give me a blade dance. And he, I mean, he's actually just intangible. And we should have just killed him. I understand. I understand. And I, I didn't want to end my turn, but I think that the guy ended my turn. It's, it's all jacked up, dude. Uh, so, okay. We'll figure this out. Dagger throw. Okay. Draw me some extra cards. Give me the Phantasmal for next turn. And then let's let's just block here. Keep the Bane. So that hopefully we can, I don't know, do something with it. This guy's got 22 block. Pardon me? You are not supposed to have that much block, my dude. So, 8. 8. 12. 8. And then, you know what? He's dead. That one fine. Keep finisher. I don't yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know how exactly that even works, but just keep finisher. It's fine. Uh two, two, two. And then that's worth twelve. And you somehow still have blocks, so life is uh totally fine. When when did our attacks become more energy, dude? Very confused by when that actually occurred, but they're dead. It's fine. Just just chill here. Uh, so, I mean, Infinite Blades is actually good for us, uh, and it was a power that we needed for our thing, so it's fine. Whenever you take HP damage, gain gold. Dude, we have so many ways to gain gold in this one. So, I will give in to the desires here. So, we can obtain Wild Strawberry, Wild Pear, or Wild Mango. So this is going to hurt to eat. We have the uh, HP, so that's fine. Raise your max HP by 7 and take 14 damage. Well, you know, can't win them all. So now we got this crap again. Uh, I don't... Ne oh, dude. I mean, this could be a lot of fun, actually. Because we, we do have some means of success with this. Um, Or I can just remove a card. Which I will remove a... Let's kill a strike. Uh, and then give me a random relic. That relic is meal ticket. And then is there one of these that we want? So Ultima Form will never really be able to get. This is interesting. Like, really interesting. I actually love the idea of it. Um, yeah, I, I love the idea of that. Let's take that and then we're going to immediately build around that. Can I upgrade this? What's your upgrade? Cost zero? Dude, it's really good. It's actually, like, so good that I think we will just go for it. Because, basically, we're now able to... Our shivs are going to be an insane damage amount. These frogs are insanely creepy. Okay, so bang. Give me these. Seven and seven. You're starting with six block Y. 
but you, you played the friggin' thing. Don't be dumb, Tyler. Okay, and then we smack. You did you did not actually uh, start with six block. You played cloak and dagger, you stupid. So they take my stuff. Okay, I get it. So this is actually a terrible turn. Uh, especially when you play the thing before you, you do anything of value. That's like actually horrible by me. And you then botched it up where you couldn't play finisher here. I, I'm really doing good on this one. Uh, let, let's set up next turn. We'll, we'll Phantasmal. The goal is to Phantasmal and have Finisher uh, for that future. So, Phantasmal. And then... Kill this. Do this. Okay. So, I, I actually don't think this is a turn where we want to use this. But we'll retain it so that we can use it. We basically, we need a way to generate a lot of block really quickly and really fast. So, like, this is absolutely the kind of thing you want. So, now you convert that into strength. These shivs become ridiculous. Yeah, this is what you wanted to do this entire time. And you're just going to take the one damage here, for sure. Uh, we're drawing neutralize. Just hit him for 21. It's fine. And then keep that. We get hit for one, but like one don't matter, dude. At all. One is totally fine. So then, boom. 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 Draw. Fantastic. Boom. More shivs. Boom. 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 Hit you. I mean, it's, it's a finisher that would have been friggin' 32 damage, but... Not much you can really do about that. He will die in the next turn, so it all works out fine. We were so weak on this one. Okay, so then you do this, you do this, you do this, and you're a lot of strength up and you just kill him. As an interesting uh, card for sure. If you have unspent energy at the end of your turn, draw that many cards at the start of your next turn. That's interesting. I like it. Another Neurotoxin is hilarious. We don't need any of the rest of those, though. Okay, so we've been caught in a trap. Lose 10 HP and remove a card. Fantastic. Thank you. It's like the kindest thing that you'll ever uh, give to me. I will do that 10 out of 10 times. Uh, do we want another elite fight? No, but I want to hit this campfire up here. So, uh, uh, yes, I want another elite fight, but I want to hit the campfire. So we're going to go up this way instead. And that'll work out fine. I always want to play that, uh, that, that boy here. So it's good. Get the shivs. Convert all of these to beautiful, beautiful attack damage. You are dead. 15 to you. Honestly, like, amazing fight for us so far. Since we killed off one of them basically immediately. So, Poison Stab. Smack it for a lot. Uh, bouncing Flask. Won't kill you. So, now you got to make the decision. Do you want to take uh, 12 damage or do you want to kill him? I'll take the 12 damage, I think. But it was... It's, it's a very difficult decision. It was not the easiest thing I've ever decided to do in my life. Sneaky Strike, we don't need any of those. Those are not great. This run is pretty standard, to be honest. Uh, which I, I'm not mad about that in the slightest right now. It's, uh, it's okay to have a standard... Standard run here. This turn super blows, though. Just so you know. Keep this, because that's going to go on to this other guy. Yeah, I mean, it, it sucked. It sucked. Uh, smack you. I actually think we want to do this, and then ensure you die, which you're not actually going to. It's horrendous. We'll take another 20 here. Not, see, now I'm just playing too fast, and that's my bad. But we take damage. We're getting gold from it, so it, it kind of... You know, it's hard to be mad, but... Still a little... Leaves a bit to be desired. Pop this. 13 strength. Oh, that's 44 damage card. Followed by a, like, ridiculously good... Uh, neutralize. And he's dead. Except... 
apparently I didn't plan for something, and he was not dead. I, I don't know. How did you hit me? You had a you had a flame barrier on you. Interesting. Okay. Uh, please do not do any of this. We're a little weak, dude. Oh, give me the curse and let's find something. It requires a shovel to find it. What the hell, man? I don't have shovel. Never mind. I just got shovel. Okay. That's an interesting uh, event. I wonder what happens if you actually can get in there and, and take it. So he is already weakened. Let's dagger throw then. I'm not sure what I was even looking for to come out of that. Uh, I'm going to take some damage here. Give me the shivs. You likely have a finisher coming up, which might be enough to kill him, to be honest. You do not have finisher. Okay, that sucks. Then let's do it like this. That's 18 strength up on the shivs, and that will actually be enough to kill you, so good life. I don't care about any of those. That's a dangerous run, dude. I mean, we are a little... Uh, special fruits and ve vegetables... Okay, uh, I mean, you gotta take the most expensive one, right? Uncommon and rare cards in the future card rewards are upgraded. That's really good. That's really good. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, brewing random potions, I, I like to think that that's an amazing play for us here. Just because now we can pop everything on these guys. We're probably dead here, uh, and I, I will accept it if we are. They're hitting for eight. So let's start with destroying you, weakening you, regening. La Languid is they deal one less attack, so you're you're done for. And then just chill for right now. Okay, phantasmal for next turn is a requirement. And then let's block as much as we can because now we're going to go intangible. And the goal is to actually just wipe you guys. Okay. So he's stunned. We take one damage here. How many totems does this chick have? I'm going to assume probably five. And now she starts to do damage as well. So we have... Uh, We've got some stuff here. She gains strength every time a totem dies. Can I stun you, please? Because you're really pissing me off. Okay. There's a lot of intricacies going on in this fight. A lot of people to have to worry about here. She is doing 10. Okay. So she is totally immune to damage. Let's pop that. Shivs hit you I want to play infinite blades we weaken you so you're doing basically zero damage and then are, are we dead we're not dead we take 15 here it, it's just all messy I, I I don't know if we actually have a chance on this one but we'll see draw shivs shivs gotta kill off you if we have any hope in a prayer here. So you're now for sure dead. So we need eight block. We got it. Should have probably retained something. Dude, stop with the totems, man. I know that's the last one. We just got to survive through that. But it's horrible. Uh, so we are definitely dead here unless we can make some magic happen. And I'm not sure we're going to. So we definitely did make it happen because we are now immune six coming in, which is not that bad. You get gold off of it, which is a little, little weird, but sure. Yo, this is actually a fantastic turn because we are guaranteed to kill this guy. Okay. Everybody's getting strength in the process, which you hate to see. You're taking six damage. Okay, okay. It's, it's tight. It's tight. 22 coming in. You will die unless you play this, which you will. Okay. 
Uh, kill poison stab here. Do this, do this. Intangible. 12, 12, you're dead. And another 12 to you. Intangibility, you take one. This man's not even attacking. You poor soul. Okay. Can I just kill you and play Bouncing Flask? You are a lovely, lovely human being. I think we're fine, but this is a really interesting fight. Uh, I had a really good time with it. It's cool. It's chill. I like it. Uh, you are going to kill me. I think. I hope to God that you don't. You will not kill me. And honestly, could not be happier with that. Uh, you actually, you had no chance to kill me anyway. So that's cool. Three quests. Fantastic. Uh, what do we want here? I think corpse explosion is an easy answer. Is it a boss room we got? And what do we got here? So chewing gum. Each time you shuffle your deck, add three slime to your pile. Right click during combat to activate usable only ones. Lose one charge at the end of your turn. Immediately start another turn. Oh my god. You have to. It has six charges. Boy, that's, that's real interesting. And, and probably something we should have done. These are real good, though. Um, like it, it's interesting. There, there's a lot of routes we could have gone there. And a lot that were very interesting. Uh, because the finisher plus holding on to cards so that, like, the finisher could end up doing, like, over 100 damage. It's a real, real interesting uh, possibility there. So you will die, which will not kill all of them, but it'll get real damn close. And then we'll necrotic poison all these guys. So necrotic, it, it does two times the damage, but it ticks down a little bit faster. So do this. Play Phantasmal. I actually think you don't want to take anything here. Just let him hit you. I'm not sure how we're going to kill these guys. It's most likely going to be just doing poison. Okay. I mean, that was interesting for sure. This card all shivs in your hand. Well, I did it. Didn't do much, though. Uh, it's fine because these guys are very dead on this turn now. 13. Beautiful. End your turn. It's, it's a really strange deck that is a very very poison focused while also just not at all being poison focused because I feel like we do most of our damage with shivs but it's also just kind of it's weird for sure so eight damage uh yeah pop this because now after image gives you what you need could have done that way earlier we actually probably could have killed him on this uh on this one after image becomes really good with this. Like, very, very good. So, does this work because you have poison? It doesn't, but you're still dead. So, it's good. Uh, what do we want? None of these. No interest. Continue on. Uh, give me... Lose 5 max HP. Got 640... Oh, give me it. Eh, it's fine. It's neutral. Got 641 gold. That's a lot, man. It's a lot of gold. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful. At this point, give me... This. Next turn, double damage. And that's A-OK. -okay. Uh, I think Corpse Explosion is fine. Toxic Wave is not actually that good for us right now. But it, like, has an ability to be very good in the future. So discard all shivs. Your shivs deal one extra damage this combat for each one discarded. But, like, I want to hit him now because we got Phantasmal active. So, I think you just go all in here. But then I do want to play this. Yeah, this is fine. Because now we're intangible. And in the end, that's, like, all I really wanted anyway was to be intangible because this guy's a real son of a gun. So he's going to take a turn off to, to smack us, but he's going to be in rough shape because he's actually just going to die before he even 
Let's Constrict hit us. So we do want to kill him. Well, we want to have block on us, basically. Uh, beautiful. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, another Cloak and Dagger is A-OK -okay in this deck. I will dig for a random relic. It's Gremlin Horn. It's like a top tier relic, so not mad. Uh, give me random loot. And uh, what random loot did you actually give me? Holy crap, dude. These are insane. Uh, take 26 damage, I guess. And we got 191 gold from it. That's not that good. 75 damage and a po four poison to all fighters. What the hell? <laughs> That's like literally nuts. Um, I will take it. I will take it because there, there's interesting implications with our... Uh, interesting implications with the... Phantasmal that that's an 150 damage card and I, I mean I just like the idea of it really uh, so keep infinite blades because you'd like to play it Th these high cost cards are just not not doing it for me so I mean this is one of those where you want atom bomb like not where it is so we're gonna we're gonna block this up it, 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 like, so doesn't matter, and we're gonna get hit for, like, 20 here. But that's life, dude. So now you got a weird turn. It's not that weird of a turn, to be honest. Uh, cloak. Beautiful. You're good. Not taking damage. Keep the blade dance. So Phantasmal is gone. Sadly, Adam Bomb friggin' comes in now. We keep- we want to have it not come in now, though. Okay. For each card played. So that's fine. Now convert it to strength, you're intangible. Smack the crap out of him. All you want is to play Phantasmal on a turn where you got the friggin' Atom Bomb, dude. But it does not want to actually work like that. So now Phantasmal is active. We're dealing double damage. Which is good for me. This man will not hit us on this turn. And this is his last turn, so he, he will legitimately just not hit us. Uh, it's a fine fight. I really want to make this Atom Bomb work. We, we just got into the wrong... Uh... Sure. Let's take Sniper. Let's see if we can make that work. Uh... Collector again. Yo, th this guy's a lot of fun. I like him a lot. So, Cloak. I think you want to, in this case, put the poison on him. Because this other Phantasmal... I mean, having two Phantasmals in your deck is pretty friggin' bad, dude. Uh, it's, it's really terrible. So... Oh, I forgot. He just dumps a ton of crap into our deck. So, it, this is a, is a crapshoot as to what we uh, have going on here. That's okay. Toxic wave, poison you, boom. I, I mean, there's no reason not to just do that here. We'll, we'll be able to only take two damage instead of ten. There's actually, like, zero reason not to do that. So let's discard some cards. Uh, those become insane. And absolutely, this is a good opportunity to, I think, just pop an atom bomb on this poor man. The shivs are amazing. And then it's a 76 damage atom bomb. Four poison to me as well. Wait, it would trust me. That's not good at all. Uh, but guess what? He's got 40 poison on him now. And I'm not going to say he's dead because I don't believe he is. But he's quite close to dead. Dude, we actually took a good chunk of damage on this fight. Uh, but it is an elite, so... It's kind of a, uh, who cares in the end, because you're getting relics out of it. For every fifth attack you play, apply two necrotic poison each time it deals unblocked damage. Okay. Cool. Don't think I care about any of those. Let's, uh, let, let's rest, I think. I think we're due for a rest. We haven't rested in a little bit. So that is okay. Uh, this is a corpse explosion kind of turn. We would like to 
get that going ASAP. You might as well do this. And then smack the crap out of you. You would love to just have a corpse explosion right now. Please draw it. You did not draw it. A little rude, but that's okay. So you're dead. And you're not dead yet. Give me a shiv. Keep sniper. You'll discard that eventually with survivor. Extra energy, which does nothing. And then, of course, you get corpse explosion now. Put that onto him. And then the goal is, honestly, just discard this. The goal is that corpse explosion kills you on this next turn. Which at pretty high chance to kill you, I think. I mean, yeah. Boom, you're all dead. Cool. That works. Atom Bomb is nuts, man. Okay, we'll take Slice because we need it. Beautiful. I don't really need Slice, but we'll take it because we need it. So, nine damage twice. We can kill off one of you. And that's fine. Uh... So let's do this, and then let's discard our shivs. They're going to do two more damage now. And then let's... I don't think we need to do... Oh, actually, we do. Because now you will die. Yeah. And that's 100% fine. Now, I think you want to take advantage of 19 damage shivs. And then retain this because you're going to knock out your your sniper when it shows up. Okay. Well, 23 poison on you is fine. 9 damage. Just hit him every time. <laughs> it didn't necessarily work, but hey, you can't win them all, right? Uh, keep the atom bomb because it very well might literally just kill this guy on the next turn. So... Yeah. Let me think about this. Uh, 76 plus 31. Yeah, you're just dead. Okay. Well, that was fun. I had a good time. See you in hell. Fantastic work. Golden egg, whenever you add a rare card to your deck, it's upgraded. Cool. Don't really care, though. Because we are going to do crap with it. I will buy a lot of stuff, though. Uh, kunai. Dolly's Mirror for the additional, uh, give me the additional cloak and dagger. Does that mean that it also has, it does not. Okay, fair enough. Uh, kill a curse, because you don't care about it. Um, I mean, dodge and roll we need for a challenge, so that's fine. Uh, give me the skill potion, give me the plated armor. I know that people are going to start starting with effects because of this, but... It's kind of, who cares? And we're good. We're good. Let's, let's dig. Well, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, draw two cards. And then what in the crap is this? Mass of shapes. Lovely. Okay. Sure. So I will discard this to get that going. And then I will just do this. So what, what is your deal? When taking HP damage, massive shapes may break into, apart into smaller monsters. For the next two turns, one attack deal three damage back. Okay. Sure. He's hitting for 31, man. So next turn, do double damage. It's gonna hurt like hell. Okay? It's gonna hurt like hell. But that's the price that we are gonna pay for the time being. Yikes. Okay. So now he broke off a little bit. 16, 16. We're actually about to smack the ever-loving crap out of him. So now convert this. 26. And this is a 32 times 6 card. We took a lot of damage off of that. But I really don't care. Because it was fun. <laughs> He's already like half dead. So, there's actually too many enemies now, though. Uh, but it is going, it's going. 
I, I feel the need to just like go directly at him here, but I know that's a terrible idea. So I'm not going to do that. I do not want to retain those. We got up to the correct amount of block that we needed as well. There's so much moving crap on the screen. It's difficult to comprehend what the hell is going on. But that's okay. He's hitting for 40 on this turn. Let's just keep that in mind at the current moment. Uh, Atom Bomb will not kill you. But now I'm intangible, which is amazing. And then the Atom Bomb will actually kill you on the next turn. Because the poison is enough. It's a very weird final fight, dude, but we did win the run, so... Although I have a feeling he's going to do something at the end of this. So let's try to kill... We actually won't be able to kill that guy. But that's okay. He's got a corpse explosion on him. If, in fact, this guy... No, he just dies and he's done. Okay. I... Weird. Weird. I think is the best way of putting that. Very weird. Uh, 902 score. Totally fine. That's our first win on the Ultra Modded series. Feels good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. We'll play a little bit of Defect and see what uh, is going on with orbs in this weird series that we're doing. But uh, I had a good time. I'll catch you guys then. You have a good one. Goodbye.